But okay, there we are. We're back here. Uh, I had a little accident. I pushed the grinder guy out there a little too far. Uh, we not do that again. <laughs> we we almost uh, lost him, but that's okay. We actually did not. Uh, still a little bit work to do on him. He's not a very pretty ship yet, uh, but that's okay. We want to get in um, to these actual menus and everything. We want to figure out how we can go ahead and take control of that guy. Uh, so you see me here. I'm in the middle of the guy. We're just kind of minding our own business over here. Uh, so in the K menu is where we want to go. Here with the ships, we're going to go to the small ship 9345. This is actually our grinder guy. You see that I have already set up a group for the grinders. I have already set up a group for our lights down here. And that's all the groups that we're going to need. Uh, so let's go to grinder remote. This is the remote control that I have renamed. So here's our grinder remote. We're going to assume control of him by doing this now. Uh, and what do we do uh, from here? What do we do from here? we go into the G menus and uh, you notice now we have uh, all of the grinder items are showing up on the G menu. So in the groups we can uh, control our grinders so let's put that on our bar. We're going to want to toggle our lights on and off so let's uh, put that on our bar and now obviously with the blocks we need to have control of the camera so that we can view and then we need to have control of the grinder connector so that we can switch at the lock. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put uh, the reactor on here so that we can turn that guy on and off as we want. And now I'm going to pop back into the K menu. We're going to go to the large reactor. What we're going to rename this guy is the grinder reactor, just so we know we can talk intelligently about what uh, we're doing there. Uh, let's look at our grinders. They're both going to use the conveyor system. Let's look at uh, the grinder cargoes up here, wherever he got off to. There he is, grinder cargo. Um, he obviously going to use the conveyor system. I was just checking the things. Okie doke, so let's pop out of there. Uh, so if we now have control of this guy, you see that uh, when I go ahead and I try to control everything, what I'm actually doing is i spinning our uh, grinder guy around here, which is uh, kind of fun. Um, but uh, difficult to control out there, a little difficult to, to control. So I tell you what, we're going to hit number four, and this is going to pop us into the camera for our grinder guy which is pretty neat. Now, the, one of the major drawbacks with this is that I do not have uh, a lot of sound, nor do I have um, the visual on where the grinders actually are. And that uh, kind of little problematic, kind of little problematic. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more cameras uh, onto this guy. And so we're just going to zoom him over here by the build guy real quick. And now we hit T to access out of him, and now uh, I'm going to hit T to actually pop out of the build guy. You see up top here is where we have kind of mounted the camera. Um, maybe uh, we want to have uh, kind of a view of what is going on uh, behind of the grinder guy here. Uh, so what we're actually going to do then is uh, we're going to wall in our uh, 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 reactor guy right there. Uh, and for these here on the corners, um, you know what, no, no, we're going to leave them right like that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Uh-oh. Oh, I need plates. <laughs> need the plates to build the things. Uh, let's pop in here. Let's uh, take a couple hundred of those plates real quick. And now we'll go back over here. Um, so remember what uh, kind of the purpose of what we we doing right now. Uh, we're just trying to give ourselves a little bit better uh, control via the cameras of what is going on with the grinder. And so we're just uh, going to add a couple of these blocks just like this. And now if I was interested in what is going on uh, in the back of this guy, as soon as I get done welding a couple of these things here. Uh, let's flip this guy around too. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. So let's put him on. Welding, 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 welding. There's the welding on the back. And uh, this guy is just kind of randomly sitting there, but we weld him as well. Uh, let's see. I cannot actually put anything into there. So just to finish this off here, we're just going to put these couple guys right like that. And now we just weld them on. Easy enough. So on the back of this guy, if we want to uh, not have a giant crate in our face, but if I wanted to see what's going on uh, here, kind of on the back of this. Uh, now, one thing I'm going to point out while I'm right here, you see on there where it says camera, 
and now I have moved him to the top. That's going to be the orientation of the camera. That's how he's going to show you kind of which way he's appointed, uh, so you know which way is up and which way is it down. So do be careful about that sometimes. It can be uh, a little bit confusing, I think, but uh, no bigger deal. Okay, so we has here camera on the front, you see, and now we put in camera on the back of this guy. So now if I want, I can kind of take a look at what's going on behind the guy. And now, ideally, what I, what I was really wanting uh, to do is I wanted to be able to take a look um, from the, the grinder so I could kind of see what is going on with our grinder guy. So uh, how about we uh, play around with these guys a little bit right here. And now, how about we build out this thing uh, kind of like a that. If I could spinny that thing around, right, there we go. So here we go, kind of just little arm sitting over uh, over top of one of our grinder guys here. Um, and so now, let's say I want to put the camera out uh, over here on uh, above the grinder. Okay, so he oriented the right way. Let's uh, finish up that camera. There we go. Okay, so now let's come back here into our middle the guy. Now that we have kind of oriented some of the cameras, remember we go to our K menu, pop down to the small ship, and now uh, we what we really want to do I think is we want to rename uh, where these cameras are going so let's uh, rename this uh, rear grinder camera uh, this uh, one right here let's call this the forward grinder camera and now for this guy right here let's just rename it this guy um, offset grinder camera I feel like that's going to work fine um, okay so what we want then is uh, we want to go ahead and take control of this guy so let's come down here to grinder remote we take a control and now four five and six we have many of the cameras so this is now our forward camera we're going to have our rear camera that is going to go right here and now we're going to have offset grinder camera right to there so you know we controlling this guy is what we're doing here so far uh, so let's say we want to view from the front of this guy here we go let's say we want to view from the back there we go and now if I look at the offset I get a little bit of the grinder down there so now I can actually see a little bit uh, of what's going on and you see between four and six there's a little bit of offset and that's okay so I tell you what let's take our little grinder guy here let's take him over this direction where we ideally trying to go. Uh, there are some blocks up here that uh, I placed uh, kind of in error and we want to do away with them. So let's uh, pop up in here. We can turn our lights on if we want. We can go ahead and start up the grinder things even though we're not going to hear them at all which is a little bit uh, a little bit eerie. But if I nosey on up to these blocks right here my hope is that uh, we're going to be able to grind away this block there we go okay so there we got rid of some of that block hey that's kind of cool so let's go over here with this guy we have to get unfortunately very close up here to this before he going to work and that's okay uh yeah but see this uh this roll okay so there we go kind of got that roll gone a little bit now that row is not actually what we were interested in doing um so since we can now exit out of the grinder guy let's go get our build to back Grinder now because of the antenna is going to start showing up uh, where he is over here, which is kind of neat. And uh, now let's pop out of here. So let's start to illustrate kind of uh, what we can do maybe with um, the grinders and uh, just this kind of this technologies here. So let's uh, go ahead. Let's lay out um, these blocks. This was just kind of to show what we was doing. I actually do want these blocks to be laid down. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do this like that. We go ahead and lay the next guy. Now something I am curious about. I want to see, uh, because these guys here on the sides, they're not lighting up as yellow. They're showing red. So I'm curious what is happening uh, in here. If there is, um, see the plates, they're staying in the grinder they're not actually going into the storage which is interesting i don't understand why they're not uh connecting in uh to the storage here because they should be wondering if maybe it is a just a connect uh, a conveyor issue uh more than anything else so let's uh pop into here real quick see there's the grinder cargo cannot move though interesting interesting uh usually those guys they have a um that's okay, we can worry about that later. Not important, not important, not important. Uh, what is important is I need to pop into Builder here. So there we go. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I have one more row that I want to set up over here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this row right here. 
Yes, that is what I want set up just like that. Nicely done. Okay, so let's uh, pop into this guy here. We are close quarters because of a uh, minor guy that is sitting above us, but no big deal. Now, interior there, I only want this outside row of blocks to actually... Um, to actually get welded, which is kind of nice. This is exactly what I want. we just continue down here. Am I going to miss grinder? Yes, I have plenty of room to miss grinder. Good, okay. So now, those blocks now nice and done, like we wanted him to be. Uh, I'm curious about uh, something because... I'm not going to be able to get those plates out of there. That is okay. They have plenty of room in the grinder guy. Okay, so let's uh, let's go take over grinder ship here real quick. So in our K menu, drop it down, and now we want to go to grinder remote, and now we're going to control him. Uh, let's go over to camera four. I think is going to be our best bet. Uh, let's go ahead and spinny this guy around a little bit. There we go. And now, uh, so one thing that we can do is I can uh, exit out of the view with, uh, oh, not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. I hit T, which is not what I wanted. Let's go back to Grinder Remote and take control of him. Uh, tell you what, actually, let's come back here to Builder. I want to move Builder down a little bit so we can kind of play around and maybe a little bit with Grinder Guy. Uh, let's go ahead and get his remote. There we go. Oh, I'm still in the, the way here. Yeah, that's okay. So now let's see what we do over here. So grind a guy. We just turn him on a little bit. So let's uh, rotate him and see if we can nosy him into these blocks. Uh, worried little bits. Worried little bits. That uh, too close. So let's uh, take a look at number four. Let's go over to number six. Okay, so let's pop up just a little bit. That's what I was worried about. I took out... Um, Took out the glass down there, which is not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Keep hitting the glass. Uh, worried that, um, worried that if I hit escape, no, that's not what I want. How can I exit out of uh, the camera view, I wonder? How can I, if I don't want to be in the camera view, I wonder how I exit out of that and I just end up back with the remote control. What happens if I put the grinder remote down here? That leaves me with the control, but not quite what I want, huh? Hmm. So not a good way to exit out of uh, the cameras? Can I not to do that? That's interesting. Oh, well. Okay. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Okay, so good, this guy here taking his time. Let's scoot you over a little bit. Uh, so i tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to see yep, a grinder guy doing his thing. We're going to want to bring this guy back down a little bit. And now, one last time, not in the G menu, in the K menu, let's go back and assume a control. Okay, day, good. So now, uh, actually, the, not quite, not quite the uh, angle that we was wanting. This is actually the angle that I'm wanting right here. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's get the remote. Cool. And now we can uh, move the grinder guy, I think, over into, uh, yeah, we can just kind of keep moving him along over here, look like. Uh oh now I'm grinding something that maybe I don't want to grind. Okay, so let's go take cameras. Um, I don't know what else I was grinding there, but that is okay. We put this guy here now. Move over to six. Okay, so we actually are grinding on the things. Okay, day. Well, you know what? Uh, so this was kind of neat little experiment from um, playing around with the cameras and some of the other things we have access to. Ultimately, I think um, I think that uh, it's a neat thing to do, and I can see maybe with fighter planes where it would be a good idea, uh, something very helpful and something very useful. Uh, but so far, in terms of the grinding ships, it uh, not not as useful, not as nice 
as uh, you might think it would be. Not to, just a little more work than a little more effort than is actually worth. I think so. We're going to get a grinder ship. We go ahead and room with him. We get him out of there, and now we're going to curve back around. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, we go over this direction. There we go. Okie doke, well I tell you what, thank you for joining me as always for the playing around with the remote controllers and the cameras. Um, it was a neat little experiment, but unfortunately I think uh, probably the best thing is still just to uh, pilot the ship uh, the normal way. So uh, yeah, but as always I appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much and I will see you uh, the next time.